Computers Storage and Memory Device Computer A computer is an electronic device that processes raw data with the help of a program and produces meaningful information. These functions are performed in a cycle called Input, Process, Output, Cycle or IPO. We input data and instructions in the computer. It processes according to our instructions and produces meaningful information called output. This output can again be input for further processing. This becomes a cycle. Data Collection, Checking and Preparation of Raw Data Input Processing by Computer Storing Data for Future Usage Output Information Processed and Organized Data Data Raw facts that have been collected but not organized are known as data. For example, details of employees and hours worked by them. Information When data is organized in a useful way, it is called information. For example, address of employees, their pay slips, etc. Information must be accurate, complete and should be given at the right time. Computer Memory Computer memory is measured in terms of bytes. One byte is capable of holding one character. Each information is represented within the computer memory using binary digits 0 and 1, a bit. A combination of 8 bits makes a byte. Binary 0 and 1 represents two states, OFF and ON. One bit is equal to 0 or 1. One nibble is equal to 4 bits. One byte is equal to 8 bits. One kilobyte or KV is equal to 1024 bytes. One megabyte or MB is equal to 1024 KB. One gigabyte or GB is equal to 1024 MB. One terabyte or TB is equal to 1024 GB Types of Computer Memory There are two types of computer memory Internal or Primary Memory and External or Secondary Memory Primary Memory is again of two types RAM and ROM The storage devices are the secondary memory that store a large amount of data and software permanently. Computer memory Internal, Primary, Temporary RAM, ROM External, Secondary, Permanent Hard disk, CD, DVD Primary memory the primary memory is the main memory of the computer that stores data and instructions for processing. This is internal memory that is continuously overwritten with new data and programs for quick access. It communicates directly with the CPU. There are two types of primary memory, RAM and ROM. RAM Random Access Memory Random Access Memory stores the data and programs that are currently being used by the computer for quick access 
by the computer. The RAM can be read from and written onto. Therefore, it is also known as read or write memory. Its contents are lost when the computer is switched off. Thus, it is a volatile or temporary memory. ROM Read-only memory Read-only memory stores startup instructions for booting the computer system. The ROM can only be read from and not written onto. Information is permanently stored onto ROM and cannot be changed. The contents are not lost when you turn off the computer. Thus, it is a non-volatile memory. No more. There are different types of ROM like PROM, EEPROM, EEPROM. Secondary memory. Only primary memory does not serve our purpose. We require to store a large amount of data permanently. For this purpose, external or secondary memory or storage devices are used. More and more storage devices can be used to store unlimited volume of data. Storage devices Nowadays, high capacity storage devices are available. A hard disk can store up to 2 terabyte or TB or more. Moreover, even portable storage devices can store between 4 GB and 8 GB data. We will learn about the external memory or secondary memory, commonly known as storage devices. Hard disk, pen drive, CD, DVD, Blu-ray disk. Storage devices provide a location where data can be stored when it is not being processed. A computer can read and input data from storage devices for further processing and at the same time it can store processed information onto these devices again and again. Primary memory is small in size but faster than secondary memory. When we work on our computer, the work is saved on primary memory. And when we give save command to save our file with a name, only then the file is saved on the secondary memory. Hard disk. It is a high capacity storage device that is fixed inside the computer cabinet and contains all the software and data. The operating system remains on the hard disk only and gets loaded in computer's memory when you switch on the computer. It is an essential part of the computer. It is made up of multiple disks which can store data on both the sides. 1 TB hard disks are commonly used in PCs nowadays. The hard disk acts as the main storage device. These days, external hard disks are also available in the market to transfer bulk amount of data. No more. It is possible to reconstruct information on a hard drive that has been permanently deleted using technology. Portable storage Besides hard disk, except external hard disk or fixed disk, all the other storage devices are portable in which you can carry data and programs anywhere. CD or compact disk A compact disk is a portable storage device and commonly known as CD. It is an optical storage media. It is a thin circular disk with a reflection metal coating and measures 4.7 inches in diameter. A CD can store 650 MB to 900 MB of data. CDs can hold any kind of data. 
May it be text, graphic, sound, image or video. The CD drive is used for reading or writing information from a CD. Nowadays, CD writer has become an essential component of a computer system. We can also erase and rewrite on a CD using a CD writer on a rewritable CD. DVD Digital Versatile Disc DVD stands for Digital Versatile Disc. It is also called Digital Video Disc since initially it was used to store video files only. This is an optical storage device like CDs. DVD is similar to CD in shape and size but has a greater capacity to store a large amount of data. It is generally used to record movies with high quality of video and sound. It is also used to take backup of data stored in hard disks. DVD storage capacity varies from 4 GB to 17 GB. It needs a DVD drive to run. USB flash drive it is popularly known as pen drive. It is a plug and play device used for copying and moving data from one computer to another. It has replaced floppy disks as it is very small, lightweight and a rewritable device. It can be attached to any USB port and has the capacity of storage ranging from 2 GB to 32 GB or more data. Flash drives are smaller, faster and more reliable.